In the previous experiment, we used reagents to remove sulfur from diesel fuel. But now we will blend the purified fuel and water, using an emulsifier in an AVS-150 electromagnetic nanomill. Our objective is to produce stable emulsion and to determine the optimal amount of water, which will not harm the fuel's performance. The process line of continuous diesel fuel and water blending, in our case, consists of a 1 cubic meter tank, a pump to supply fuel from the tank into the AVS-150 device, a feeder device to add ferromagnetic particles into the chamber of the device, a 200 liter tank with portioning pumps to supply water, and a 30 liter tank with a portioning pump to supply the emulsifier. Before the process begins, the temperature of fuel, water and emulsifier is raised to 40 degrees Celsius. The pump supplies diesel fuel from the 1 cubic meter tank to the chamber of the AVS-150, simultaneously with water from the 200 liter tank and emulsifier from the 30 liter tank. Retention time and processing in the unit last several seconds. The throughput of the blending process is 1.5 cubic meters per hour. Blending diesel fuel and water with an emulsifier occurs with the help of steel ferromagnetic elements. The wear rate is 5 grams per one hour of operation, that is 0 0.005 gram per liter of diesel fuel. Ferromagnetic elements are added automatically by the feeder. There are two options of using the blended fuel, in our case. In the first case, the fuel is used directly in a diesel engine, such as a ship engine, or to large boiler burners, as well as for diesel-operated power plants. In the latter case, fuel is stored in a tank with an agitator for long-term storage, up to 30 days. The results of the experiments demonstrated the optimal emulsion composition. To make 1 kg of emulsion, we need 25 grams of emulsifier, which constitutes 2.5% of the total volume, 150 grams of water, that is 15% of the volume, and 825 grams of diesel. To improve emulsion stability, distilled water should be used. Blending in the AVS unit results in a homogeneous blend with optimal droplet size, which has a direct effect on its stability. When homogenization process is complete, the droplets look as follows. Water in the center, fuel on top of the water, and the emulsifier between them, forming a membrane binding these substances. Combustion of such fuel begins with ignition of the fuel, compressing it so that the water inside the droplets overheats, generating steam. Steam tears the fuel particles apart, making the fuel combust fully, compensating for the loss of power due to added water. Steam also cleans the exhaust system. In this experiment, we tested the fuel with a 5.5 kW diesel generator, running at constant RPM. We connected electrical systems to the generator to match its maximum load. We initially filled the generator tank with 0.5 liters of regular diesel fuel and timed the duration of its running, monitoring the indications of the voltmeter under load, then repeated the run using the emulsion. Running time and voltage were practically the same, which brings us to the conclusion that the generator running an emulsion with 15% water performs without power loss. In the result, the emulsion allows to reduce fuel consumption by 150 liters per ton, as well as reduce exhaust system contamination and the amount of smoke in the exhaust.